we do is just like yeah start going okay. we colonists want freedom from the british we will fight for what we wish god made us equal and we are linked together as one we deserve better than this we deserve respect we proclaim separation from british we will let no king rule us we will create our own government and laws to our nation this is what we're telling you we declare our detachment as a human we get natural rights and these rights were not being met we had no choice but to separate in this document, we're going to give you a full explanation of why we are so upset with Britain. We hold our truths to be apparent that everyone created equal, that they are provided by their creator with certain rights that can't be taken away, that with these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. To keep these rights, governments have started among men, gaining their just powers from the consent of the government. Where, whenever any form of government becomes hostile to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to terminate it and the commence new government, laying its substructure on such principles and arranging its powers in such form as to them shall seem mostly likely impact their safety and happiness. Cool. All right, go. We are number three. All experience has shown that mankind is more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable. When a long chain of abuses and illegal seizures happen, it is our right to pursue our right and duty, to throw out all such government and to get new guards for our future security. No, we are number three. The time has come for us to overthrow the king. Time to banish the long list of abuses and usurpations to form a new kind of government. A new government that allows anybody and everybody, when you come of age, to vote for our future government. To vote for the laws that we pass and to vote for the future leaders. We will call it a democracy. The king of... Uh, oh. number, four, number four. The king of Britain does not learn from the past. He only agrees his own laws and forces them unto us. Since he does this, he makes new laws and forces us to obey them. He does not give the common people a say in anything as if they were the common filth. Alright, that's it. That's it. We're number four. The King of Great Britain has a history of injury in trying to take control over the states. The King has also outlawed his governor from passing laws of importance. He fails to attend to the issues we have. Number five, the king will not pass laws for us as colonists unless we agree to give up our rights to represent. He has refused for a long, long while to allow for others to be elected. We have rights. The king is not allowed. He will have any say in the laws. If he doesn't allow them to have a say, he brings them to an uncomfortable position and forces them to comply. Right. The king doesn't allow the colonists to elect officials to say the parliament. <laughs> we are acquiring independence from the king because he refuses to allow the opinion of the colonies, proving that the colonies should have separation from Great Britain. He also dissolves our government repeatedly, leaving us all exposed to an invasion from afar. He has discouraged people from coming studying in his state. Shoot. He has discouraged people from coming into a state to settle. He's not given rights to injustice to the colonists by assembling his laws. He has made his laws on his own will for his offices and the payment of their salaries. Throughout history, the King of England has committed a number of injustices against us. A few of these offenses include draining our natural resources and refusing to acknowledge our laws and rights as an independent nation. The King has also declared power over our military and forced us to house and provide supplies for British troops. In addition to these crimes, England also refuses to withdraw their standing armies from the colonies in times of peace. The king is being very cruel by taking everything we have, cutting off our trade with the world and our government, our rights as human beings. He makes us pay taxes on everything. He takes our homes for us to house his soldiers, and we are extremely upset. We are fed up with it. We don't want to deal with it any longer. We want our own independence. 
Us colonists do not have a say in anything. The king has abandoned us, declared war, plundered our seas, ravaged our coasts, burned our towns, and destroyed the lives of our people. He has sent an army to destroy us all. Breaking our laws. The British are making us kill our own friends and family. The, he's taking our freedom. The king is encouraging the Indians to fight against us. The King of Great Britain is a tyrant to us colonies. He has rejected all the petitions we have sent him. We have warned him that we will break away if he keeps treating us this way. We want to separate from Britain and be independent. They are our new or our enemies. Don't start yet. Come on, my data. Again, we have to leave it. Okay, we have to go. <laughs> it's just okay. It's like, is my face really close? <laughs> it's at the bottom of the screen. Sorry? <laughs> Should we do it? Hold on. Oh, I'm I'm like, I want to do another one because that was bad. Time has come for us to overthrow the king. Time to banish the long list. The king is not. Wait, is, is, it, is it wrong? Okay. 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 Oh, crap. Move. Oh god, we're taking up too much data on this. No, I didn't go up. The king doesn't love colonies too like officials to say the parliament! <laughs> we have rights!